Somehow, deep down, I, I, I knew I was going to produce a commentary today that I'd be yelling at Call of Duty in some shape or form. So here it is. Originally, I wasn't going to do this because I got really lazy and just decided to be like, screw it, YOLO. But then I start playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Treyarch's last Call of Duty, which is what you're seeing here. You know, I'm just going to introduce it. This is a multi-gun double nuke by Jessam. Probably like three months old. He, I just never got around to it. Because when I'm the only one recording these gameplays, you have like 30 double nukes a week. And I only get to a few. It's a, it's a, it's a slight problem. Multi-gun, I think it's between the FAL and I think the TAR. But I know it's the FAL. I saw the FAL in the beginning with that. I hate that camo. It's, it's fag camo. It's party rock or whatever. I don't like it. I So I got about four more minutes of raging. And then, the end of the video. And then tomorrow we get some more uh, Rosen, good commentator from last Saturday, last last. So our first subscriber upload that everybody liked, he got more likes than me. Which is, it's very depressing, but it still works if you want to call it a better way to do it. Whatever that means. So what happened today is I, I get on COD, I'm going, playing some games, got through about two or three games. And then this happens. There's no picture on the screen because I couldn't uh, figure it out. But, you know, there's such things as dashboarding. There's the host turning his uh, Xbox off. We got host. Aqua got host, AQWO. And, you know, I thought, oh, no dashboarding, no host drops. It should all be fine. But Treyarch, they find a totally new, unique way to screw me over and have the game end abruptly. And, uh, you know, I've never seen this error before, but I know it's due to their failures in life that it became. So it said to me, what is it, Black Ops 2 servers are not available at this time, click on this link or some bullshit like that. Are you kidding? I, I, you know, I, I'm okay with the game ending part. I mean, it's a little sad because the guys I had in my, in my uh, lobby had Down Syndrome of the 10th degree. But the fact that I got a loss from it, Treyarch. I mean, just, like, what the fuck are you making nowadays? Seriously. This game's like a pandemic because it's got more problems than any other game before it. I mean, comparing it to Halo 3, which is a flawless game, so it's not the best way to compare it to. But I mean, other Call of Duties do have a lot of flaws. But I mean, Black Ops, World at War... The other Treyarch games, they, they weren't as broken as this one. This one's got EMP grenades, concussions, C4 that you could fly around corners while your VSAT is active and then call yourself good when you do so. And Guardians as well. Don't forget Guardians. And then let's get those amazing lethal gameplays with the most overpowered lethals in the world. But back on to topic about me getting lost because Treyarch's failure of uh, service goes down. Now, now, okay, Treyarch, what I want from you is, is an apology. I want it written out, and I want a Hershey's bar as well. Because I haven't had one in a while, and I, I feel like I deserve one. Especially since you gave me a loss. And you know, I have a high win-loss. I think it was 16, so it dropped back to 15. So now I have to play another 15 games. It's, it's almost like it's a microtransaction logic. So they're doing this to me, so I have to play another 15 games before I go off. But I decide I'm going off. And I'm doing this commentary because that's for the exact reason I'm doing it. Because Treyarch cannot get their shit together. You make a game. I mean, honestly, this might be one of my favorite Call of Duties. And it would be an amazing Call of Duty if you got rid of all the flaws. See, right here is a flaw. Target finder on a gun that kills in three bullets while it has a hundred in one clip with no recoil and a huge fire rate. What, what are you doing? Where, where are you thinking this from? I know it has low mobi low mo mo mobility, whatever the fuck that word is. 
but that still does not cancel out the fact that those faggot campers can hide in a window with this. Yeah. You know, I mean, it should only do damage while you're walking. Otherwise, the gun should just fly up in your face, but I guess while you're standing still, you can mount it on the wall that you're hiding in. Other examples I said before, EMP grenades, C4, Guardians, those high up lethals that practically play the game for you. I mean, I do find the VSAT actually to be a problem, but I'm, I'm not going to get into that. I, I do feel it's cheap, but it, it deserves what it deserves, although I think it could go a little bit up more in score-wise if it maybe lasted the whole minute, but it's still good, except the VSAT is one weakness. When it fades away, it literally fades. So I'm looking at a red dot that's, let's say, 10 feet in front of me, but really, it's 2 feet behind me trying to knife. Oh yeah, other flaws. Snipers, quick scoping. Uh, what, what, what else is that? Remington, KSG shotguns. What other guns are there? Uh, I don't think there's any other bad, really. Uh, let's see. Peacekeeper. Could you at least make that gun reasonable? Like, I just don't even want to touch it. Honestly, using that gun is... It's low damage. Whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video. My little rant about Treyarch's flaws in their Call of Duty games. I know they have two years to make it for a professional team. Whatever. Bye.